Hello guys, in this video we will see how to install and configure JBIX latest version that is 7.0 on Ubuntu 24.04. First go to JBIX official website that is JBIX.com. Open Firefox or any browser, go to JBIX.com. See JBIX 7.0 LTS now available for download and JBIX is the open source monitoring tool. So click on download, select the JBIX packages, then select the JBIX version, then select the OS distribution, Ubuntu. See we can install JBIX 7.0 on 24, 22, 20, 18 or 16 and JBIX components I am going to install server, front end and agent. Then select the databases. Here we have two types of databases, MySQL and PostgreSQL. If you click on MySQL, see we will get the commands related to MySQL. If you click on PostgreSQL, see we got the commands for the PostgreSQL. Okay. So we are using MySQL and web server. I am going with Apache. These are the commands. Before executing these commands, first open terminal. First we have to install the Apache. So sudo apt install apache 2 and hit enter i will keep this command in the video description see it is saying it is already installed next we have to install the php and extensions by running the command i will keep these commands in the video description and hit enter type five for confirmation and hit enter It is done. Now install the. Now install this one also. Okay, we have installed PHP and its extensions. Now, now we have to install the repository. Copy this command to download the dev package. Paste it. Hit enter. It is done. Now we have to install this package by running this command. dpkg it is better to give sudo and paste it. Hit enter. It is done. Now update the package. sudo apt update. Okay. It is also done. Now it is asking to upgrade. Okay. I will upgrade the packages later. It is not required now. Next, install the JVIC server front end and agent. So copy this one. Control it sudo paste it hit enter i will keep this link in the video description okay type five for confirmation and hit enter Use tab and select OK and hit enter. Select the first one and use tab and hit enter. Okay, so we have installed front end, JBIC server front end and agent. Next, we have to initialize the database. Okay, so connect to MySQL, control L to clear screen, MySQL hyphen u root hyphen p, then provide the password of root user. Then run these commands one by one. First, it is going to create database JBIC. Copy it, paste it, hit enter. It is done. Let us verify. Show database. See, JBIX database is created. Next, create user. Copy up to identified by. 
then paste then give the password i am giving cap c at the rate one two three put semicolon at the end of the statement and hit end we have successfully created user now grant privileges to this jpx user copy it paste it hit end it is done now set the global trust function creators to one copy it paste it hit enter then quit now we have to import the schema and data by copying this one copy it paste it hit enter then provide the password of this jpx user so this is the password copy it paste it hit enter This may take time. Yeah, it's done. Now again connect to it and we have to set the here we have set one. Now we have to set zero. Okay, connect to MySQL. Then copy this one. Paste it. Hit end. It is done. Fit. Now we have to configure JBIC server. Okay, edit this file, copy this entire path. This is the configuration file for the JBIC server. sudo vi paste it, hit enter, search for db, hit enter. See here we have to remove the hash at the start, shift a at the end, and give the db password. That is admin at one two three. Save the file. Now, after this, we have to restart. After saving the password, we have to restart JBIC server and agent and Apache. So, copy this one, paste it, hit enter. Then provide the password of sudo user. So, I forgot to give sudo. This time. I am giving sudo, copy it, sudo, paste it, hit enter, all done, see, With this command we have enabled the services, why we need to enable, whenever Ubuntu server restarts, no need to start this server agent and Apache servers manually, okay, so the, to avoid that situation, we have to enable, okay, so next is all done, next, open JBX UI web page to configure. So copy this one, go to neat app, paste it. See here host name we have to replace with our host name. Host name, see this is the host name UB24R. We can give IF config that is IP. Let me find out the IP. IF config, see this is the IP. We can give IP or host name. Host name is just this is the host name. Both are fine. So in place of host, I am giving UB24 and hit enter. See, this is the JBX web UI. Click on next step. See, all prerequisites match because status is working. Click on next step. Here, database host, local host because MySQL is installed on local host. Database name, host name. Port number double three zero six and database name JBX username also JBX then provide the password of this user that is admin capture admin at one two three click on next step not now provide the JBX server name that is localhost or uh, this one both are fine are give the IP all three are fine still if you have doubt give the host name see this is the JBIC server name because JBIC server is installed on this machine. Paste it, click on next step. See, this is the pre installation summary. Click on next step. See, congratulations, you have successfully installed JBIC front end. Click on finish. Now, 
connect to JBX. Username is admin and password is JBX. You have to remember this one. Then click on if you give small admin, it won't work. Let me show you. Click on login, sign in, see it is not working. So we have to give caps admin, then password small JBX. Click on sign in. Not now. See, this is the JBX dashboard. Click on users. See here we have the user roles. See, we have these are the list of the user roles. Users. See, this is the username. If you want to create new user, you have to give username, then first name, last name, then we have to apply. If you want to change the password of this JBX user, click on username, then click on change password. At present, I am not going to change, but the username, password for this admin is JBX. That is small case. Okay. Click on JBX. If you want to sign out, you have to click on sign out. Okay. So, if you want to click on monitoring, click on monitoring, problems host. Okay. Services, click on services. If you want to see, you can create service or anything. Click on dashboard, see. See, JBX server version is 7.0. JBX frontend server version is 7.0. It is up to date. Okay. So, in this video, we have seen how to install and configure JBX server 7.0 on Ubuntu 24.04. For more JBX videos, please subscribe my channel. Thank you.